hi welcome to my channel and today i have another theater vlog for you and today's theater vlog is actually a kids theater vlog in this vlog we go and see the snail and the whale at the lowry now this was actually filmed quite a while ago it was filmed back in june but i've only just got around to editing it because i've had other vlogs that needed to be done before this one um so I've only just got around to doing this one. So yeah, this was filmed back in June. It was actually the day we were going on holiday. So we went to see this first. And then after this, we went to um, our holiday, which was in Blackpool or near Blackpool. So yeah, in the vlog, I show you around the theatre, show you the merch that they had for the show. And then I also review it at the end as well. But when I do review it, I'm not where I usually am in my own house. I am actually on my on holiday. So in a different place where I usually review the shows but I hope you enjoy this little vlog. One day it's over baby, someday we'll find a way out. When all our strings are broken, you'll see that we could do without. When all our dreams are over, when all our hopes are dead. With this town turning colder, with all our colors bleeding red. A big rink of when the storms are hit. I sing you any song you wanna hear. So we are now at Cornbrook, this is our second tram station, just waiting for our tram. I think it's due in like two minutes, I think, Media City, three minutes. It's due in three minutes. So we've just arrived at Media City, I think it's about half ten. Show starts at eleven. We've just obviously got a tram here at the Media City tram stop. So we're gonna go and head to the Lowry now and probably have a sit down, let the kids have a snack before they go into the show. And then we'll obviously show you where we're sat, show you if we've got any merch, I don't know if they will. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head in now. half ten so it starts in half an hour and the kids got these little programs for the show and they've got little pictures on the back for them to colour in so they both got one of those each which is nice um, so I'll show you this later so I'll go through this after the show and show you some more detail yeah really excited for the show we'll show you where we're sat we're sat in the stalls tier today usually we sit in the stalls but they had no seats left i think last time we went to see room on the broom we sat on the tier two is it upper tier the very high one 
and all the other days that they were the only seats that were left and because we didn't like sitting there last time because the kids had to sit on our knees and lean forward didn't want to book that and these were the last seats left that weren't on the upper tier so we're real lucky they managed to get some in the stalls here um, so yeah we're really looking forward to the show it's only an hour long i think 50 minutes and yeah it's obviously based on the julia dolson axel shift for book snail in the well which is one of the kids favorites um so yeah they should really enjoy it so these are our tickets for the snail in the well show and um, we've got e-tickets for the show and they actually sent us out new tickets because they've changed their um seating system so it used to just be stores tier a and b and now they've sort of numbered each little section with um, different letters so they sent us out some new tickets so we're on row o three of us and then lawrence is on row p at the back of us because he's tall and he can see over our heads so, yeah. so we'll probably get back to you uh, now after the show and let you know what we thought sat in the stores tier we're on the front row and then Lawrence is on the back so this is like our little booth where we sit so there's six seats in here there's four of us so I don't know if someone else would be sat in here with us and then this is our view Show and you can find our contact details on the back of the free program that you got as you came in. 
or if you didn't get one, please pick one up on the way out. Um, we are Tall Stories, and thank you so much for coming. You've done amazing. Um, have a lovely day. Bye. Uh, the show has finished now, it was really good. And now we're gonna go and get the train. So we've just come out of the snail and the whale show. What did you think? Did you like it, Alice? I don't like it. I want to go to holiday house. We're going on holiday in a minute, so she wants to get a holiday house. But it was good, it wasn't my favourite one. It's out of the ones we've seen, it's probably my least favourite, but it was still good. We still enjoyed it. Alice and Leo enjoyed it, I think. You enjoyed the show, Leo? <laughs> you just want to go on the train to holiday now, so some food for we'll, get, we? we'll tell you more about the show when we get home. So we've just come to uh, Lara Atmore, got some lunch, went to Chicken Cottage, me and Leo. I got chicken strips and some chips. <coughs> yeah, I got chicken nuggets and chips, we got some gravy. Alice was having her sandwiches, but now she says she wants some chips. I knew she was. Hello! went to Burger King for his and Alice decided she did want food. I knew she would. So she got her a little box. Oh, there's your chips and your nuggets. What do you want? Hi, so I am now back from the show. You may notice that the background is a little bit different than some of the videos because we actually went from the theatre straight to our holiday so we went from the theatre to the train station got the train and we're now on holiday at Ruby Hall so this is a little bit different than my usual setup but anyway I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about the show so we went to the Lowry to see the snail and the whale which is by Tall Stories they've done adaptations of some other Julia Donaldson books um, so they've done the Gruffalo, they've done Room on the Broom, and recently they've done the Smed and the Smoo, which we went to a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I have to say, out of all the Tall Stories shows that we've seen, this is probably my least favourite. Um, it's not as many good songs in, the other shows have some really good catchy songs. This one only really has one song that they sort of repeat. Um, so yeah it doesn't have as many catchy songs in it i also found the story a bit hard to follow um the basis of it is there's a little girl and her dad they read the story the snail and whale um and he's in the navy so he's often goes away to sea and and she's on her own and he will tell the story uh, via phone when he's away um so they, they start the story and then it sort of stops and he goes away and then he reads her the story while he's away i just for me it just um it didn't flow very well and i don't think it flowed very well with my daughter i think she got a bit confused what was going on because she said to me halfway through the show when's it gonna start mama because she didn't realize that it was the snail and the whale story just because of the way they were doing it i think that sort of confused her a bit so the the daughter and the father act out the snail and the whale they use um a chair and some boxes to make the whale uh, the girl wears a little headband on her head with some snail uh, antennae and she has a little snail backpack with a little shell on uh, to make her look like the snail and that is how they they sort of do the show. There is, is some audience participation in the show, they get the chick kids to shout out where the girl is, she hides and uh, she crawls. Um, through the auditorium when she pretends to be a snail and they get the kids shout out there she is there and stuff like that and the kids loved all that and then there was some silly bits where they pretend to be a penguin and they're making do like penguin like, quack, 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 like that um the kids all seem to have really enjoyed that um but yeah like i said it just did i didn't think it flowed as well as the other stories um and my daughter did find it a little bit hard to follow and she's older she is five um so yeah it's not not our favorite one it's still enjoyable um just not enjoyable as the other ones that we've seen uh, so we did get a program here when we came in you got a free program it tells you who's in it it also has a little coloring page on the back um so i'll show you this a bit better okay so this is the program it says here tall stories the snail and the whale free program says what are the favorite childhood stories of the cast and crew so you have jamie jackson ives 
she's the narrator and the violin player so the narrator is supposed to be the young girl when she's older and she's telling the story of her and her dad and how they used to read the story of the snail and the whale and it says her favourite childhood book was The Hungry Caterpillar and then we have Molly Rolfe who played the daughter slash the snail and her favourite book is the Harry Mac Maclery books don't know them then you have Aaron Millard, he played the dad slash the whale. He liked Roll Doll books, his favourite was the Fantastic Mr. Fox. And then you have Heather Gorniak, she's the understudy assistant stage manager. She likes The Lie, the Witch and the Wardrobe. So, these three, two girls, and him were the obviously the main characters. We've got a little QR code here, it says scan to find out more about our cast and creatives. So I'll scan that in a minute and show you what that brings up. So inside it says about the show, it just tells you a bit more about the show in here. It has a bit about Julie Donson and Axel Schiffler. Um, that's about the offstage team and Spanx. Here's some uh, production shots. And that tells you a little bit about tall stories. And then these are the current shows that are in production. So the Sped and the Smoo, we saw that not long ago at the Zed Arts Theatre and it's actually coming to Lowry in October. The Gruffalo's Child, that's touring in autumn and spring and that's at the Lowry in April next year, April 2024. And then Tall Stories Studio in London. And then here it says, scan here for special offers and our mailing list. And then on the back, you've got the snail and the whale picture to colour in. Okay, so I want to scan this QR code to find out more about the team. This is what comes up. It says the snail and the whale play and create. So it's got the um, trailer for the snail and the whale. And it has the cast and crew listed here. And then it's got more information on each one of the cast. And then it's got the gallery here. And it's got some activity sheets as well. So we'll just go back up here to the cast. There you go, you just slide it along and it tells you more information about each cast member. Okay. And then at the bottom, you've got some activity sheets that you can download on there. And there. You can join the mailing list. So when you scan this QR code, it takes you to this where you can sign up to Tall Stories newsletter. So we went to the morning showing of the snail and whale. I think there was two showings. I think there was one at eleven, and maybe one at around one. I can't quite remember what time the second one was. Um, and it was on at the Lowry, I think, from the Saturday to the Monday. So from the 3rd of June to the 5th of June. So we've seen it on the last day that it is at the Lowry. But it is touring. So I can uh, link below the Tour Stories website. And that should list everywhere that it is touring to. Um, so if you do want to see it, um, you can see if it's at a venue near you. So they did have a bit of a merch for this show. They had the whale soft toy with the little snail on the end of its tail. That was £16. They were also selling the book, which was £7.50. And they were also selling the Smed and the Smoo book um, for £6.50. And they also had a snail and the whale activity book, and that was £5. So for this show, we were sat on the stalls tier. Um, so they've changed how they do the stalls tier. It used to be row A, row B, and then you had a number. But now the stalls tier, they've put each, it's in like little, it's sort of like your little own box. And there's six, how many seats? 
six seats in each little box um but now they've given each box like a separate row letter instead of them just being all a and b and different number so we were ended up sitting in on row o and row p so we were on uh, row o 16 17 and 18 something like that i need to check yeah that was right we're on row o 16 17 18 and lawrence was on row p see 18 so he was sat behind us box sort of thing that we were sat in it had the stool seats so they were like tall stool seats um it seems to be the little boxes that are at the back have the stool seats whereas the ones at the side have normal chairs i think the reason why they have stool seats in the back ones is because the stools is slightly tiered at the back um so they give you like um stool seats that you can see over the heads of the people sat in there but the view was excellent from there i thought we got a really good view i'm not sure the kids were keen sat on the stool seats um but it wasn't too bad they were um, it wasn't too bad um alice had sat on them happily it's just leo that i don't think liked them as much but i definitely recommend them seats and i quite like sitting in the stalls here because you get quite a bit of room and um you get a really good view over everyone's heads in the store and you're not too far back either with it being a small um theater so i definitely recommend the stores here um i think you get a good view i definitely don't recommend where we sat we went to see a room in the broom which is on, on the tier two um because the kids couldn't see anything there um they actually had to sit on our knees and we had to lean right the way forward for them to see anything so definitely wouldn't recommend the second tier stalls tier however excellent view and it, there were tickets were all the same price so kids tickets were 18 pounds adults tickets were 18 pounds however i noticed when i added them to the basket it had a discount and classed it as a family ticket so it reduced the tickets down to 15 pounds each um, so if you bought four tickets it was a special offer family ticket and it got reduced down to 15 pounds which i thought was really good um, because when we went to Room of the Broom, we didn't get any discount. But I don't know if I actually changed the kids over from adult to child because I knew all, they were all the same price. So maybe if I went to that and I'd changed the kids over, it, it might have done that for that show as well. I don't know. So if we go to the Gruffalo's Child in in April, I have to remember to change the, the children to children, not adult tickets, in case there was another family ticket offer on. So overall, the show was was good um not as good as the other ones like i said i found the story a little bit hard to follow and i think my daughter found it a little bit hard to follow as well um but it was enjoyable the cast were excellent they were really good i love the violin the, um the person the narrator who is the older version of the daughter she played the violin throughout it it was really pretty really beautiful music um obviously not as catchy as some of the songs in the other ones but it was it was nice to listen to the violin um so this show i think i would give it three stars like i said it wasn't my favorite but we still enjoyed it it was still a good family day out and yeah we we had a good time so i hope you have enjoyed this little uh theater vlog for the snail and the whale if you have please do give uh this video a like and do consider subscribing because if you do like theatre vlogs uh, like children's theatre vlogs or any kind of theatre vlogs we do lots of those on this channel i think my next show coming up is the commitments at the uh op manchester opera house um so if you'd like to see a vlog on that then do subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, we should also be going to see zog in august so if you'd like to see another kids theater vlog we should hopefully be going to see zog in august and so if you subscribe now and hit the notification bell you'll be notified when that vlog goes up as well so like i said i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye